Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from everyday guy, Redoculus guy, and welcome back to Finding Paradise. So, in the last episode, we came over here for our new patient that is Colin Ritz, where we don't know what his wish is because none of his family members know what his wish is, though. So, yeah, we then kind of went to look for his file, which he had forgot it in his own office. We, aka Rosalind, call Dr. Roxanne to bring his file where she found out a little secret, something that Neil has hidden in his office. And I bet it's the very machine that we are using right now in his office though. And uh, yeah, she's bringing those files over here and I bet she will t talk about this thing only, what I'm telling you guys right now. And after that, we ended up right here where we are about to go into his memories and find out what his wish is. Okay, so before that, let's talk to you. And good luck. I hope you can accomplish whatever my father set you out to do. Yep. And what about you? Hurry up. Don't make me wait here with this helmet like an idiot. <laughs> Yours is on the recliner, by the way. Yeah. And finally about you. What are you waiting for? Might as well start at this point. Yes ma'am, we are commencing in just a moment. And lastly with you. Colin's condition is looking stable for the moment, but I would hurry. You never know exactly how long we have. Yeah, alright, 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 let's go then. Commence memory travel, so yes. Wait. Uh -huh. Before you begin, could you tell me what you will be doing in there? Uh, we are going through his memories to grant him his last wish, the... I thought you already knew. Yes, I do know that, but... How? What will you be actually doing? Well, uh, th that's quite twisted, but let's elaborate. Let's try to elaborate. We actually don't do much. It's the machine that does most of the work. Says the technician. <laughs> Who knows best? <laughs> the machine calculates permutations of possibilities and creates a new tangent of life. In the form of memories, of course. It's an illusion, but to him, it would be indistinguishable memories of a lifetime. However, the permutation the machine calculates would still have to be logically coherent. So it needs a starting point and a change in a key variable. And that's where we come in. Yeah, we tunnel through his memories from the most recent to as far back as we need. Drawing a line from now to then. We are then be able to help Colin transfer his current motivations all the way to his past. So in a stimulated life rerun, he will make all the kick ours decisions and fulfill his own wish. Just by his own volition, is that enough? I'd have, I'd have thought that fulfilling wishes would take more than just effort and a second chance. I mean, can't you two just make whatever needs to happen, happen? Oh, <laughs> uh, now let's continue elaborating. Perhaps, but one problem, he's not brain dead. There are few things that uphold the illusion of reality, illogical happenstances aren't one of them. And since the world still must be of self-coherent, we can't do more than simply influence him. Besides, we don't get paid enough to generate memories manually, it's not a cave painting. There is little need for interference anyhow, willpower is usually more than enough. Not everyone can reach their goals in real life, time changes them. Motivations come and go, they always start strong, then plateau, then fade. But in a simulation, based on the mental state of a single moment stretched through a lifetime, let's just say that it's some powerful voodoo, mon. Anyhow, no amount of volitions gonna help a dead man, shall we proceed? Yes, thank you for the explanation. I don't know what's gonna happen in there, but good luck. Lux for lotteries, we are professionals. 
Oh, sharp words. See you on the other side. Patient is stable and ready. Initializing memory traversal in 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's go. Whoa. Is that him? Alright, this should be Colin's last accessible memory. Yeah, and check out the reagony, reagony, reagony. Heavy sleeper champ over here. Leave that memory of her alone. She's not our client. By the way, I wanted to ask earlier, what's with the helm you put on your patient? Huh? The equipment, it looked different. Oh, I just removed the casing during maintenance, that's all. Then why didn't you put it back? Hey, that reminds me. Did you know I added a new feature? New feature? Behold! Never mind, forget I asked. Hey -ya! What is it? What is it? Character customization! <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> oh yes! Oh great, so... Mid part timeless, side part 1920s, or a cool afro from 1960s. Let's give him a cool afro. <laughs> Face, smooth yet manly. Hipster stash. Amish paradise. Rich old baron. <laughs> oh. This looks good. Rich old baron. <laughs> Sucks. Plain black. Even blacker. Gold trimming, dead sock puppets, cup made of pattern, one red, one gun, my thrill plus 50 <laughs> agility, dinosaurs. <laughs> Let's give dinosaurs. Alright, confirm. Yes, final life. Ta da! Chest. Why? Well, I figured if we are going to spend so much time working here, we might as well travel in style. <laughs> we? Oops, did I say we? Sorry, I meant... Oh wait, that's exactly what I meant. <laughs> Dang, you are it. Neil, you son of a... <laughs> we are going to customize her too. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, great. Uh, okay, I like this one for the face. Classic Eva, <laughs> Grand Mustel, <laughs> Wizard's Beard. <laughs> Let's give her Wizard's Beard <laughs> and socks, plain white, bright, bright teal, giraffe print, <laughs> fuzzy ch chanukwa, chanuka, chanuka, cucumber pattern. More hole than one sock. No, sorry, more hole than sock. <laughs> Rainbow stripes. Rare silk. Let's give her rainbow stripes. No, I guess rare silk will be good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, great. Are we gonna be like this the whole game? What the, whatever that emoji is, Neil. <laughs> hey, don't blame me. It's the system that shows it for you. Well, the system is a dumb. <laughs> it's talking about us, in short. <laughs> whoa, whoa, don't insult the system. That's not cool. Whatever, I'm changing back. Oh, come on, it was a lot of work to implement. Besides, you owe me for what happened at the tofu party last month. Humor me for a bit. 
Ugh, you did take a solid hit for me at the tofu party. Fine, I will keep the look until we find Colin. Sweet, nice socks by the way. Yeah, I'm okay with the socks. <laughs> the current memory's position in time can be viewed by moving, sorry, moving towards the top of the screen. Okay, yep. Oh, let's turn off the wall interaction before we wake her up. After all that, I'm surprised we did it already. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we are still in his old ages. You know, I wanna see what's gonna happen if I do not change anything at all. Let's see though. <laughs> Hiya! Let's see. Character customization! Oh, oh my god! Yeah, let's uh, not change anything at all about him. <laughs> let's see what will happen. Yep. Ta da! You look the same. <laughs> huh? I guess the system computed that my handsomest look is just how I am. <laughs> I wonder though. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Okay, listen, you had better not be. Tag you are it! Neil, you sort of Let's uh, do the same for her and let's see how will that go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, let's keep it as it is. Ta da! <laughs> huh, I guess we are both fine the way we are. I was hoping for some fireworks, but I guess the system that chose it was being kind. <laughs> well, that's a lovely system. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, thank you so much. Alright, let's go find Colin before it expires. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, eh, that was cool. Like, that is a cool way of breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> what about you? It's not polite to stare. Sheesh, and she didn't seem to like us before. And again? She's not our client. Let's find Colin, though. Okay, then. Oh, from here. Okay. That's him, I guess. Call it. What the? This isn't a stable copy. Let's find one we can talk to. Unstable copy. Ooh, what is that though? There is an odd instance of Colin on the most recent memories balcony. Ah, interesting. Okay, yep, this unlocked up. Let's go. Let's see if it's if oh, no 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 no. Okay, I thought there was something we can interact there, but no there was not. Maybe he is up here. Nope. Or maybe. Still full here. Seems like he must have cleared it very recently. The one lone book, huh? Yeah, odd fellow. Yeah. And also interesting that I have thought about it and I think it is that very book that I said in the last episode only. The one that we were using in the A Bird Story if we have watched it. To make that big paper plane though. Huh. Uh. Pretty sure the hall didn't look like this. Yeah? Dude's so old, he can't even remember his own home. But isn't the machine supposed to autocorrect this kind of spatial inconsistencies? Well, uh... Oh, hey, look. Okay, he's up right there. Still has that same type of hair like me. <laughs> Target acquired. Let's go. Ah, uh, I thought you forgot. No. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Thanks. Turning on entity interaction. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was cool while it lasted. 
call in. My name is Dr. Eva Rosalind. I am a memory traversal specialist at Sigmund Carp. And my colleague here is Dr. Hatton. <laughs> Dr. Manhattan. Hatton. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay. You are Dr. Neil Watts. Whoa. How did you know? Your name tag. Oh. <laughs> This isn't what it looks to be, is it? Yes, call it. Your procedure has started. Good. It's not just me then. Something felt off about this place. It's as if I'm both here and far away at once. Either this isn't where I think I am, or my head's going downhill faster than I thought. Or like both, actually. Huh, fair enough. My wife and son, how are they handling it? They are there, right? Yeah, but they aren't prancing around, that's for sure. Although given the circumstances, I guess I'd be worried if they were. Listen, there's not a lot of time and it's best if we get started. You are the most recent slice of Colin that we can load up and the only relatively reliable version that we can interact with for info. So I hope you can assist us in completing the mission. Of course, why would I not? Good, I will keep your state safe so we won't need to have this conversation again. Psst, run a save on his state. Yes, your highness. <laughs> that is cool. Now, in order to help you relieve your life here to fulfill your last wish, we are first gonna backtrack through your memories to collect your little timeline. And then, we will be able to transfer your desire all the way to your younger self and run the algorithm for you to live your life here all over again to fulfill your wish. Anyhow, call it. we need your help. To jump between memories, we need mementos. They are items of importance to you that connect one memory with another. Do you have one here that we could jump with? Whoa, slow down. We still don't even know what his wish is. What is it that you want anyway, Colin? Yep. Actually, I think I can answer both of your questions with this. It's his segment contract. The text is rather blurry, but it is a memento. So wait, let's move. Okay, we are not gonna ask him anything here though. No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, so let's go then. This memento's barrier shatters by itself since it's so recent. But the next one won't be so easy. We will need to charge it up first. Prepare. Oh, the good old mini game. Oh, this time it's different. Memories go the farthest when linked together, okay? Oh. Oh. Let's do this and then uh, push this thing up right here. Alrighty, charged up, fully charged up. I thought the good old mini game would come up. <laughs> uh, so this time this was something new. Alrighty, so let's activate and let's get back. I mean, get back in the time in his memories. Yeah, thanks. We might come back for your help again. Ooh, what was that? 
Did you guys saw that? On to the right, there's something like that came. Ah, interesting. Wait a minute. This place, it's a segment call. I guess. Yeah, it's the Sigmund guest house. Ah, where they wine and dine the Jesus into signing up for the service. Sure, it's been a while since I've visited. Looks a bit different from when I was last year too. Let's check it out. Okay, then let's check it out. Explore and interact to find memory orbs. Yep. Requires one memory orb and I guess it's up right here. Okay. Um. What are you doing outside in the cold, Mr. Reeds? Your apartment is about to re is about ready. Please, right this way. Okay. So let's follow. Or uh, maybe we can go a little bit ahead. Yeah. Welcome to Sigmund Corp guest house. Please have a seat in our living room. Okay. Alright. Are we good to go? Why don't you sit back and enjoy some tea first? You must have come a long way to get here. I need to get back home soon. I'd just like to inquire about your service. Very well. Someone will be here to get you shortly. Okay. Can we talk with them? I need to get back home soon, yeah. What about you? There's so much to the world, isn't there? Much more than one could explore in a single lifetime. Say, wouldn't it be nice to visit where you always wanted to go? I've already been there once upon a time. Okay. I don't recall the fireplace here looking like that. Hmm. Okay, let's go in here. This photo is taken from the state's perspective. Exhilarating, huh? Not many people get to experience what it's like to be famous. You sure get a lot of requests for that. So if it floats your boat, consider it done. If we have to do another one of these, I'm gonna go take a nap. It's not so bad. At least we had to get it done fast and go home early. But it's not gonna be that easy. Uh, yeah, from here. Alright. You see, our service is really quite simple. Tell us your wish and we make it happen. Fame, wealth, unreached goals and secret desires, you name it. We are your genie, Colin. What is your wish? So if I understand this correctly, you are saying I can't wish for more wishes. <laughs> uh. You know, I have done and seen a lot in my lifetime. I have been to where I once thought I would never be, seen what I once thought I would never see. But in the blink of an eye, suddenly there is no time. And I find myself here, just like everyone else. I walk through these doors and I realize that there is still this empty feeling inside me. I don't mean to be ungrateful to the life I've had, but I just want to feel like I've done enough in this world before I go, you know? I want to say I've lived a happy life and I want to feel like I have few regrets. But somehow, after all that, I still can't. That's why we are here, Colin. Just give us the word and we'll make it right. 
Tell us your regrets. What is it that you want us to fix? Regrets? I don't know what to tell you for regrets, but I can tell you what I want. I want you to make me live that fulfilling life I wanted. But I want you to do it without changing anything I have been through. You don't want us to change anything? Colin, changing things is what we do. We change things and we make them better. That's why you come to us and so we can make it better. We can solve your problems. Everything you wanted but couldn't have in this life, we can give you the chance to get it. But if you want to get something, you need to give up something. So I ask again, what do you want as your last wish? Very well. I want you to give me a fulfilling life while changing as little as possible. And if you have to change something, please just keep the memories of the life with my family intact. So you want to waive specificity from the contract? With something like that, I hope you know there are no guarantees of result. I am aware. It's settled then. I will put our best people on it. Thank you. That's all I ask. Colin's wish. Oh, try not to change anything and we have free reign over his fate? What kind of a last wish is that? I don't even know where to start. Eh, we have seen worse. The important thing here is that the boss said we will put our best people on it. We are the best people, Eva. Boo, yeah! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Actually, about that. Never mind. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Let's go get the memento. <laughs> she was gonna say because even because uh, as the doctor said, weren't Wi Doctor Winters supposed to be over here? Doctor Winters and Doctor Lin, <laughs> and then they got ascend because they were busy. <laughs> yeah, she was gonna say that. <laughs> Think we should go back to the last memory and ask Colin about what he said here. Can't really expect reliable answers from that, but we might eventually have to try. We will really cross that bridge when we come to it though. Let's just continue on for now. Okay, let's see that note that we got. Colin's wish to die happily while changing as little as possible. Hmm. Let's see what about this machine. What a waste, just sitting here looking pretty. <laughs> and what about you? Best dogs in the house. Oh yeah, you picked the right people for the job. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, just one more thing. Don't tell my family. I don't want them to think I'm not content with how things are. And that's where he has that's where the point that he has not said anything to them comes. Interesting. So let's find the memento uh, uh, over here. And uh, yeah, that is the memento right there. So let's uh, do this. Let's go to the next memory. You know, I've been rather impressed. What for? Well, back in the days, you kept on yelling dumb juvenilities when shooting the barriers. <laughs> But recently, I haven't heard any Harukan or Kamehameha or whatnot. It's been rather pleasant and professional. Oh, um, uh, hmm. <laughs> I bet he will do something great. Let's see what it will be this time <laughs> whenever he does that. So let's prepare this up and let's see. How is this gonna be like? Okay, sometimes only the current memento rings a bell. 
Oh, so there is this paper orbs and then this hat orb. So I guess we gotta have to match the hat ones only. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we got it. Wow. This is a rather simpler, for now, simpler puzzle than the last one. In the last game, that is to the moon though. So yeah, let's uh, move on to the next memory. Little bit more back in the time or in the memory. I'd be better head out. What did I? <laughs> I'd better head out now, but before I forget. Here, take this hat, Pops. With the headache you have been getting, you should be more careful of the wind. I've been telling him that for ages. He never listens. Alright, alright. I will wear it if it stops this multi-directional nagging. Hey, it's been a while since your thing with Pam didn't work out. Listen, I was talking with my old colleague the other day. She's got a daughter named Jenny. You see, she's single and... <laughs> Look, thanks, but I think I just really need to focus on my career right now. So, you guys gonna go back to feeding the ducks or something? We wouldn't have to resort to that if you visited us more often, you little bastard. <laughs> uh, uh, that, but that hat is 100% cotton. Well, alright, you are off the hook. Drive safe, dear. We'll stay here and keep being overload of the ducks. <laughs> Bye, Ma. I'm proud of you. Not for the duck thing, <laughs> but like, you know what I mean. Don't stay out too long at this time of the year. So good. Such a sweet moment, I will say. That kid needs to make us a grandchild. <laughs> What's wrong with Jenny anyway? Probably nothing, but you know how it is. When you were young, didn't your parents try to push people onto you too? Sure did. It was awkward and forced. Sucked all the chemistry out of it for me as well. What are you doing? I'm texting him Jenny's info to set them up. Don't do that. He's driving. Do it after he gets home. Good call. Make sure to include some pictures too. The good ones with lighting coming from the side. <laughs> No words. <laughs> uh, get it right. No regret. No grandkids. <laughs> oh, maybe that is one of his wishes somewhere. Yeah, to have some grandkids. Uh, send the pics with no duck face. <laughs> yep. Let's see. Send her some pics of Asher too. The ones where his eyebrows are on point. Got it. Send the pics where the chin is down. Mm -hmm. Don't send the ones with that duck face. <laughs> you said that already. Don't send the ones here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> so, wow. Uh, let's uh, try to find some herbs for our next memento. Ah, so, talking about the wish, it's pretty interesting. So, he doesn't want to change anything in his life because, yeah, I guess he really. Loved his life as he lived it, and he wants to kind of fulfill any of his wishes that are like remaining. Which, if only if he had time, he could have done it. So, yeah, though simple, but still, I guess it will definitely take his whole life to know what were those wishes that you know would make him feel that you know he lived. A good life, not good life, a life that fulfilled his desire or, or makes him feel that yes, 
he did everything that he wanted to do ever in his life so that's pretty interesting wow let's see how is this going to touch our hearts though oh wait 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 where am i up over here though <laughs> okay let's set our bride there okay what about here my granddaughter turns 5 this year can you believe it she's growing big so fast and i'm thinking of making my knitting modular time really flies huh no kidding i didn't even realize how old i was getting until i broke my other hip <laughs> Word of advice: Don't go breaking your hip. Yeah, I've been lucky on that front so far. Seriously, I shouldn't even be out right now. Uh, why are you out right now? It's like just a bag of loose bones rattling around in there. I tell ya. Just clanging and clanging, clanging and clanging. How are you even standing up? <laughs> okay, right one right there. Okay, so let's go to the left. Uh, maybe in here. Okay, it's locked. Okay, let's talk or see what's gonna happen here. What's this? They are call card. I printed out another. Sigmund Corp. What made you change your mind? I still feel the same way about it. But some days I wake up and see you on the balcony looking out like that. You don't say it, but I know there's something that still aches you. Tell me, are you happy? Of course I am. I have you and Asher. Then why do you want to go through with their services? Just because I am happy doesn't mean I don't have regrets. Not that it had to be related to you too, anyhow. And that's why he never said what the wish is, though. Call them. But when you go through the procedure and live that new life. Just hold on to something from here. It's not like that, Fia. I won't forget about you. <laughs> ah, so cute, so cute, so sweet. Hey, I think I forgot to bring duck food. Ah, me too. Oh my god, so sweet man. Well, that explains her attitude. Yup. I told you there was something up with her. You know, she could always sign up with Sikorp for a life where Colin never signed up with Sikorp. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah. So yeah, things are getting quite clearer about his wish and everything. And so cute. So damn cute. Are you serious? One for each duck? I'm not complaining. Wish there were a whole flock. No, ducks. <laughs> okay, let's see what that is. <laughs> they quack things up. <laughs> ah, great. Okay, let's see where the next memento is. Is it here only? Okay, it is this one only then. Okay, so let's go in and let's prepare this up. Oh, okay, this one is gonna be quite a tough one, I guess. Okay, push you over here and then up here. Boom, 100% uh, in one go. Okay, and uh, I guess this is a good place to end the episode right here. So, wow, I was right. 
regarding the fact that you know Colin does not want to change his life as it is right now because he's happy with his life but he definitely has some remaining wishes that he wanted to do in his life but this, the time is just not remaining in his life and so he wants to do this in this manner though and things like this where he wants to have some grandkids in his life and uh, yeah this is so interesting I really love it and somewhere I feel like there would be that one wish which could possibly possibly just like to the moon could interfere with how the very life right now is though cause uh, yeah that's where her concern comes up as to you know I hope you remember us by the end of it and uh, yeah it's understandable and uh, wow <laughs> I don't know how to explain it but I will just say it's understandable man because they are so cute man look at them so freaking cute so yeah in the next episode we'll move on to our next memory and we will see more things about him learn more things about him and see more things about it. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please click that like button, subscribe for more awesome content, comment down below your thoughts, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye and Shabakar.